Welcome to the Thames Valley Flood Scheme. In this video, you can find out what the Thames Valley Flood Scheme is, why it's needed, and how it could work alongside existing and proposed flood schemes. There's been a long history of flooding in the Thames Valley, and with climate change bringing warmer, wetter winters and more extreme weather, it's important that we plan now for the future. The Thames Valley Flood Scheme covers a large area as shown by the pink outline on the map. This includes everything from the source of the Thames in Gloucestershire to the tidal limit in West London. The Environment Agency and partners have already carried out work to reduce flooding and these are shown as green dots on the maps. We continue to work to reduce flooding in towns and cities. We have a number of Environment Agency led schemes in planning or in progress this year as shown by the orange dots on the map. The largest planned work is the River Thames Scheme, a landscape-based approach, which is looking to create a new flood channel in two sections and increases in capacity at three weirs and the Desborough Cut to reduce the risk of flooding within this area of Surrey and South West London. As well as aiming to reduce flood risk and improve the catchment's resilience to the expected impacts of climate change, the Thames Valley Flood Scheme will look for opportunities to improve the natural environment for both people and wildlife. So what have we been doing so far? We began by looking at a wide range of approaches to managing flood risk and we consulted on the 17 approaches that you can see on the diagram here. In response to public feedback, we added three extra approaches, two of these relating to improving our response to flooding and another looking at development in the floodplain. We assessed each of these 20 approaches against flood risk reduction, sustainability and public consultation results. We found two groups of options to take forward for further assessment. These were flood storage, circled in blue, and natural flood management measures, circled in green. Further assessment found that, on its own, natural flood management did not achieve the level of flood risk reduction we are looking for as part of this large-scale project and that flood storage would need to be a large part of the scheme. We do however recognise the wide ranging benefits that natural flood management can bring and so we continue to look into how natural flood management can be a part of the scheme. Flood storage is where water is stored either on the river, which is known as online flood storage, or just away from the river, known as offline flood storage. We are mostly looking at online flood storage, as shown here. This is where an embankment and control structure are put across a river to hold water back. They only hold water back when needed to reduce flood risk in communities downstream. These artists' impressions show an example of what a flood storage area might look like. The painting on the left shows how it would look for most of the time, and the painting on the right shows the same area when water is being stored there. To take a closer look, here you can see the embankment and control structure. Embankment grass may be kept short to allow for inspections. The area behind the embankment could have a range of uses. The example here shows improved connectivity to the floodplain with meadow area, wetlands and grazing areas alongside opportunities for wildlife habitat creation and recreation. Properties in the background are protected from flooding by a raised embankment. Upstream of the flood storage area, there is potential for natural flood management, such as tree planting, to reduce water runoff in the hills. This image shows the flood storage area when water is being stored by the embankment and control structure in the foreground. You can see the tops of mature trees poking out the top of the flood water the area would only hold water back when flooding is expected. The rest of the time, the area could continue to be available for a wide range of land uses. Natural flood management can include a wide range of measures that improve how water can soak into the ground or slow the flow of water. These include tree planting, planting crops over winter, wetland areas and leaky dams. There is a lot of natural flood management work already happening across the Thames Valley. We have been working with our partners to create a complete picture of what is already happening and planned. 
we have also been working to identify where natural flood management would be most effective in reducing flood risk. It is important that we work together with partners, landowners and local communities as we establish how the Thames Valley Flood Scheme can add to the good work already happening. We remain in the early stages of this project and are in the process of identifying the best approach to managing flood risk across the catchment. Projects need to regularly look at their costs, the benefits they will provide, as well as if they are technically possible. They then adjust their approach depending on the outcomes of these valuations. Given the size and scale of this work, this is a long-term project, planning now for the future. The project is likely to change and evolve as we find out new information and develop our ideas. We would like your input now to help shape the direction of the project. Keep in touch with us, follow us on social media, visit our website or email us at tvfs at environment-agency.gov.uk to sign up to receive regular updates. Thank you so much for watching. We have begun to identify areas for further investigation for flood storage, as well as considering how natural flood management can complement them as we decide on the next steps for this project.